Vlog day 163. Time to go unload a trailer. And then I'm, I think we're gonna do some web work. I really don't know, every, every day changes so quickly. Well, I'm here, but there's no trailer, so Let's see what's going on inside, I guess. Lights on and stuff, but nobody's here. So I'm guessing that they've already popped in once. Get some website work done until I find out if there's anything they want me to do. So what I'm trying to do with their website is automate the whole signing up process to have your house staged. You just go to the website, pick the package that you want, sign a contract, pay for it, and then schedule delivery, all without having to deal with it on this end. Because right now, James, the guy who owns the store, is spending a ton of time on the phone, like talking to people, getting them to sign up. But it's like a brand new plugin, and he's, they've got they've got a lot of problems with it. So we'll see how it comes together. Well, I'm moving locations. I basically just worked on the web contract stuff that whole time, and now we'll proceed to continue doing the same thing in a more caffeinated spot. Well, that didn't last long. My buddy Rob texted and asked if I wanted to hang out, and uh, he's kind of sick, so I figured I'll go visit him and uh, make his day a little bit sunnier. And hopefully not get sick in the process. So, job update. I did hear back from Chicago today, actually. Apparently I wasn't super clear about this in a previous vlog, or maybe just some of you missed it, because I've gotten a lot of messages about this. And then that airplane's probably just ruining the audio. Where was I? So apparently I did a terrible job of summarizing what had happened with the job interview, or maybe some people just didn't get it, but I've been getting a lot of messages about it. So the job interview that I had with the job in Chicago went really well. They're really cool. Um, they seemed very interested and they had just told me that they were interviewing other people and they'd get back to me by Thanksgiving. Um, so I was like, cool, thank you, like, went really well. And then they called me today and they would like to move forward through the process. It's not a job offer, but they'd like to keep talking and moving forward, which is really exciting. But I don't, I just, I kind of don't know what to do. They're a nonprofit, so it is going to be a smaller, on the lower end of the pay scale for the job. And while it's a significant increase in what I'm making right now, I'm also living for free and super cheap here in Spokane. Chicago is not cheap and I would have to end up paying rent and all those regular adult things. Plus, Illinois has a state income tax, which also doesn't help. So there are a couple of different things to think through on that front. And Chicago is like one of the most expensive and overtaxed cities in America. So it's a real thing to consider. So I need to know by tomorrow, or they would like to know by tomorrow, if I'm going to be willing to move forward at the pay rate that they are ballparking me. And so uh, I'll probably go talk about it with Rob here. We're also going to talk about The Black Knight's Apprentice, which is the novel that I just finished that concerns Salisir and is really fun and opens up a whole new trilogy that I'd like to write. Um, so he read it. I'm sure he'll have plenty of thoughts. I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as I wish it was, but uh, we'll discuss it and make the stronger and make the story stronger. And hopefully my capacity to speak English will also be strengthened somehow in the process. I hope he rethinks it, and I hope that he understands that in the year... Speaking of NPR, I do want to listen to Bernie Sanders here, but I got retweeted by Tom Ashbrook this morning, or just now. I tweeted this morning. I love Tom Ashbrook, and uh, just the fact that he almost knew who I was for a second is a highlight on the day. Wow, these military planes are loud. I can hear them in here. Hey, on his head. That's like the brain. Oratory so skills on this one are legit. Bonjour, said the waiter. That means... Hello in Spanish. In French, Eleanor. <laughs> Fitch. <laughs> it does. It is also a great place to meet friends. Like Eleanor, right? So what's what's going on here? What's that lady doing with her dog? Maybe she's going to the bakery store. She's going to the bakery store? Yeah. 
That sounds delicious. My brother-in-law needs lights. So lights, I will deliver. Hi. Hi. <laughs> there you go. Hey, thanks. Hey, Domi. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Lights, oh, hold on. Lights delivered. I got so excited I forgot to save the actual opening of this for you guys. Sorry, can you see me? But new mouse cable. So maybe my mouse is actually gonna work consistently now. I wanna try it out. Ta-da! That is gonna save untold amounts of headache. It's, and now it's cold. You can almost, well, you can, you can, you can see my breath. Anyways, um, it's a little bit late to go for a run. Well, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. I just, I'm just like in a, kind of a funky place this morning, all day and now this evening, so. Um, but I'm really looking forward to figuring this out and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to move forward with them. They haven't, like I said, they haven't given me an official offer, but I, I'm looking forward to whatever the next steps are. So, in the meantime, let's go. in the photo version but not in the video version I'll try to take a photo so you can see that there's a deer there and that deer spotting totally ruined my time because I didn't pause my run but it was worth it I was just thinking I need to be careful because I've seen porcupines up here all the time so I don't want to hug the gutter in those uh, particularly dark patches and then there was a deer way less threatening than a porcupine unless your car then it's bad news bears or bad news deers point 50 you see that it's uh, a little bit too dark out here but the light of the supermoon is almost enough to help supermoon